Hello, welcome back to Cracksor Plays Minecraft. This is the episode 13 and... Yep. <laughs> Still no progress. The thing is, I was making YouTube content for the anime related stuff. So you could say... I did nothing inside this world for a week, but for you it's still the normal release schedule, that's why I wanted to have the backlog, which as you can already see or think about, was an amazing idea, I say so. Okay, so where we left? I did think something about the roof here, but I found out this glass is fine where it is. Because the grass can grow only when it has access to sunlight. The glass blocks don't block the sunlight, so it's already alright if it's open. But I don't want to leave it open, so I do want to <laughs> make a little bit of roof here. And you will <laughs> see how I'm gonna make it. Yep, and I'm going to do it right now. Okay, this should do it for the intro and let's go to building, right? Shall we? Let's go! Guys, girls, I want to make the ship, so for that I will gonna need some snow and for that I'm gonna need a snowman. So let's go make one. I prepared a place, as you can see, I <laughs> destroyed the, you know, the way down the stairs. After that I'm gonna place two snow blocks back there. One, two and craft. Okay, and then we should finally have some snow. Oh. This is gonna be the sheep box. Sheep box. The sheepy box. Okay, when I gather up the rest of the materials, I'm gonna go back here again and again and again. As you can see, I've got my neighbor. <gasps> oh yeah, name tag, name tag. I'm still gonna name him something. Leave some names in the comment section and... For now, he should have just a silly name. I mean, I can make it snowman, but this would be boring. I'm gonna use your suggestions, but currently I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna call him the snowman 001. Because he's the first snowman I created. And he's gonna be a resident in this residence, right under the stairs, like a real pog champ. Okay, I'm starting to build a ship. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be funny. I'm still not sure about the color palette, so yeah. I'm gonna just go with it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? What's the worst that can happen? I've got another image opened up at, you know, the second monitor and there I have an image of a sheep, a pixelated one. I can only hope <laughs> it's not gonna be way too cursed because boy oh boy it ain't looking too rosy. Right now this is gonna be right here, but it's way too, you know, pink, pinkish. I mean, I didn't really see dripstone caves a lot, so I'm gonna, I'll do makeshift one. A farm, you know? I mean, I can make it bigger, but I don't really care about that. It's only provisional. It's only because I need dripstone. Well, that's a side project I didn't think I would <laughs> start today, but... But yeah, at the very least, dripstone is really easy to farm, as you know. Okay, then I just need a bucket of water. Water. Okay, uh, don't have it. Get a crafted. I mean. Oh no, 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 no. Yo, I forgot I had the raid. No, not you. Oh no. Flint and steel, okay. Come on. You really think you can get me? <laughs> Still, it's funny how they gone there. I mean, really funny. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, yep, finally. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I got an arrow. In my knee, I've got an arrow in my knee. Okay, I don't need a crossbow, I need a bit of iron. 
more or less this should do it. Theoretically they should grow, but I'm still gonna need some dripstone, so I'm gonna be cheesy. I'll check this side, just to be sure. The fun thing is, I didn't really explore this side of the map, or even the caves. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, what do we have here? It's always the things which you are looking for that are directly under your nose, no? Like this dripstone, it was directly next to me. I do release, thanks god, I was recording. Is it that the world is gonna be resembling something? I do hope so, because if not, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. I mean, if the color is not... <laughs> no, this is cursed. This is cursed. And I cannot hear uh, something else, because this is, was literally cursed. Oh my... <laughs> yep. This color is a lot better. You know what? I don't care about the trip zone anymore because this was literal nightmare fuel and I'm playing Minecraft at 1 o'clock or 1 a.m. So yeah, I'm not and I'm definitely not gonna be wanting to have some nightmare fuel right now. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. No. Please no. Okay, let's look at the result. Is it funny? <laughs> it's too big. I mean... Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, man. Okay. Okay, I've got an idea. <laughs> uh, or not. I mean, do I make such a roof? <laughs> I mean, it would be a bit funny, but not really. <laughs> Will it be interesting? I'm not sure. Well, then let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna fill in the other bobs and beeps and pieces a bit later. He is getting a new haircut. Will it work? I mean, oh, oh, I need to make the side. Okay, I can make it a bit steeper. It should be fine if I make it. <gasps> yeah, okay. If the roof is gonna be this color and the posts are gonna be the other one, it should look quite okay, I think. It's. <laughs> 2.30 a.m. So yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> I need all the time I need. As you can see already onto me, I stopped thinking already a few hours ago. <laughs> May sheep. And this is what I came up with. Because I want to have sunlight to have onto the grass blocks. I thought about what I could do, so it would look not too bad, so this was my idea. From here I can appreciate <laughs> the sheep, the building of sheep, the most occult building of them all. <laughs> it's the sheep. And this should overall be quite a nice building, as you can see. From here it's a double roof. I still need to get me some copper uh, wax. On the sides I've got such rims. They are connected, as you can see, to those. Uh, this I had no way other to make it pretty. I will create something probably a bit later, but currently I don't know. I will probably make just another layer of, gra uh, of glass here. That should cover it up. It's gonna be one lower, so from here. And that should do it, no? Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, I want to go down there in the future whenever I need it, so... I cannot even see it because it's all the same color. This is annoying, but never mind. Because this farm is about efficiency and not about it being pretty. I just wanted to look 
good from the distance, because you can't always win in life. And this is one such of an example. Yep, this looks pretty. This I'm gonna... oh, who knows. Still I'm not sure how or what. And yeah, I didn't really calculate the whole building and I didn't know what I'm gonna build here. So that's why it... <laughs> this room should be one block uh, wider. But I don't mind. Ooh, it's, it looks pretty from the inside, I do gotta say that. How does it look from the distance? Ooh, this ain't it looking bad. And you can't see really inside, so this is a plus. I mean, you can see inside, but the glass is making it a bit, you know, harder. I can probably make some details. Uh, but what kind of details I would do here? Because I want to have this angle. Yeah, it's... Yeah, this is fine. This is really fine. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this build. This build is theoretically finished. Yep, I mean, it looks goofy. <laughs> uh, who knows? But yeah, this one is cleaner. This one I like. This one is chaos. I don't like this one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this wall. Firstly. Okay, what did I want to do? Layers. Firstly, bricks where it's, you know, this, where the walls are. After that, I can make one brick here and the other one here. Okay, now for the bottom layer. It's the wax. Yeah, I mean, the wax could go. Now, this looks way too clean. But the wall is cleaner. Yeah, I like this. I like it. Yep, okay, let's try to mm, make it again. Yeah, those are the walls look right now a bit better because there is some sort of gradient. It's not pure chaos. Uh, yeah, but the other two, I'm gonna let it sleep, let it sleep, let it go. Okay, that should do it for a bit and we're gonna see us after a cut. Guys, I've got an idea. Uh, I slept on it and I do think it is good. As you can see, ah, I'm gonna, ah, I'm joking. So the thing is, I'm gonna go with this palette, bricks where there are walls. After that, I can make these. It's not really necessary, but I can make it like that. To that, a bit of waxed copper. The rest can be cut. I mean, I'm gonna change it a bit later, but still, uh, what? Else, polish diorite, like this, and then like this. Okay, that should be enough. And then the rest is gonna be packed mud. Because I did find out that I, <laughs> I like the way it looks. I mean, for myself, it's a bit cleaner. It's not the best gradient, but still, it does the job. And as you can see, I've did this rim here under everywhere and as you can see i detailed it everywhere on all sides it is done more or less still i need to use the buttons i have oh, you go here you go here and you go here okay after that i'm gonna come back to this build a bit later to wax the rest as you can see most of it is waxed but i still got some places <laughs> uh, the sheep. I like this design I did here. An X cross shape. And here, oh yeah, it's the same way. It's holding the roof together. <laughs> it, <laughs> it looks funny. I mean, yeah, pixel art isn't really the trend anymore. I know, but still I like it. It's friendly. And the B, for example, this one, I load the design even if I don't really go back anymore. I still should exchange the bottles, you know, for here so I can get more honey because most of them are producing honeycombs. And we are finally done with this project. So I can yeah, focus on this one. Do I do it right now? 
I'm still thinking about it because I really need gunpowder and it's not like I want to, you know, procrastinate this build, but it's true that I'm always running out of gunpowder and I want to light up the whole area a bit because I've got tons of mob spawns. Yeah, because I can just be on the roof here and sometimes the enemies can just pop, pop out from here or here just like this. Yeah, and this is my source of gunpowder currently. Oof, that was close. As you can see, I tried to lit up some caves, but yeah. For the creeper farm, I don't really need a lot. I mean, I've got most of the stuff I will gonna need for, because it's mostly iron and, you know, after that it's just blocks and wood because of the trapdoors. So the creepers can spawn onto the platforms and just go, you know, go to the middle. And I want it to be inside this chunk here. Yeah, I can do it. I can make a creeper farm here. Firstly, it's gonna have, for example, only one or two layers. And after that, if I'm gonna need a lot more, I can just build it. Okay, let's make it... So we got six stacks. It's gonna be not even seven or yeah, barely seven stacks from one and a half stacks. This is enough. I mean, this is more than enough for most of the projects I'm gonna be making in the, you know, foreseeable future. Okay, at the world is that behind me. So right now I'm just gonna need to look up a guide, <laughs> create a template and then going right into it. Before that, I'm gonna need to clear out that area. It doesn't really need to be in this chunk, but I like to do it anyway. Oh well, that should do it for a bit. And I'm gonna see you a bit later when I at the very least have the, you know, groundwork laid down for the farm. Because procrastination is the biggest gift to mankind. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's amazing. Guys, girls, as you can see, the beacon is on and another the place. Because I'm gonna be digging this area and it's annoying to not insta mine the stone. And I've got some plans for this area. I'm just gonna do the outer layer of this farm so I can just center myself and then dig straight down. For the outside I want to use uh, these blocks. It's gonna be quite costly on copper but yeah. As you can see it's already oxidating what I have put myself outside so the rest I just gotta dig. Gotta dig, gotta dig. This is not working. Does it have to be dripstone? I'm still not too sure. If yeah, I'm gonna change it a bit later because I've seen on other servers people use this, just a normal stone and it was working so I'm not <laughs> really sure anymore. This is exactly what I wanted so right now I can just... This is no more needed and it's not from Iskal, it's from Wattles but Iskal used it and from there I found that Wattles created the farm. This guy. I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below because I want to destroy the whole inner area and then dig down. I calculated the whole thing, so I want to make 42 blocks downside. I will make 5 layers, so this should be at the very least for the farm and but I want to make a system which is gonna put uh, the drops a bit higher, so I'm gonna make probably a system which is gonna be like this and then probably a dispenser yep <laughs> like this I mean this can very well be like this and as you can see <laughs> it will go here and that will go uh, up the water column which is gonna extract it to the place where I'm gonna need it. So the storage system is gonna be a bit higher because I don't want to go, you know, to the bottom layer of the farm each and every time. Which is an 
quite an easy solution, I mean. It's uh, just one thing, and I can make a comparator to it, so it's gonna be only going off if there are items, but yeah, that should do it for the explanation. It's nothing too crazy, so yeah. I mean, who doesn't like automatically dispensing things, right? <laughs> Or sorting. I mean, we are humans and we are all lazy. Lazy, lazy as it gets. Okay, this is gonna be my area. Yeah, I want a chest because I want to create a chest monster as always. La 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 la. Do I have a chest anywhere? No. Gotta make one. I am a madness. Do -do 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 -do. If you ever seen Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> You can interpret it like, I am a special <laughs> menace to society. <laughs> okay, um, all the other layers are gonna be just stone, uh, stone bricks, because I've got tons of stone and I don't need it to be pretty. The upper layer is gonna be from the copper and it's gonna be closed up by the tinted glass. So it's gonna be looking like... So it's gonna be closed up like this, you know, at or at least that's the plan. Uh, the middle section of it all should be probably here. Okay, I'm gonna need a uh, 3 by 3 I'm, And I'm gonna dig straight down. This layer is... Ooh, <laughs> nice. Minus 42. So it should be, it should be, I'm not good at math, 27, okay. Yep, I used Google. <laughs> yep, I'm too lazy to even do mental calculations. That's the generation we are. And uh, uh, 27 will be the layer for the hoppers, just so you know. And yeah, I know I'm gonna need to light up most of the caves, which will be really annoying. I can let this open currently. I mean, this will be even bigger, but currently I'm. I just want to make the drop shoot, you know. Okay, I need to go eat, so I'm gonna go eat. Okay, as you can see, in this is the beginning, <laughs> and it is not even finished. Well then, see you all a bit later, guys, girls. We hit the layer of 31, after that I came to a cave which I seen in the past, as you can see I did light it up a bit, <laughs> and yeah, there is dripstone, <laughs> yeah, there is the dripstone which I was looking for in the past. Most of the stuff, if you are looking for it, you cannot find it, and if you are not looking for it, it's gonna find you. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to digging. Boop. Guys, girls, as you all know, I like me my collection systems. So from here, as you can see, this is the bottom layer for the farm. There is a hopper line going into this dispenser and I will show you how it works. I just need to throw something here. For example, those pointed dripstone. And, you see. <laughs> it's not the fastest, but the moment this dispenser gets an item inside from the farm, this comparator sends the signal to the sticky piston, which then uh, pushes the observer to the other observer, triggering the non-stop pushing signal throughout the line, going back into the dispenser. That means that yeah, normally, as you can see, right now it's uh, producing zero lag, thanks to the composters and uh, that it's uh, normally offline, but the moment I put here an item, you can see, yep, as you can see, this is pushed, this is going non-stop, and this is shooting all the stone, which will be then uh, shot up, I'm gonna make here a line going exactly up, so I'm gonna need these coordinates. Minus 28, 27, minus 393. Then I can go just up, go to the coordinates, and then 
<laughs> just dig straight down. Uh, but before that, I want to have kelp and one soul sand block and probably some glass too. And right now, I only hope the collection system is gonna be in an okay place. I tried to move it in a way it should be somewhere here. Uh, 28, 393, exactly here. Ooh, this is a good place. This is a really good place, not too far away from the farm and I can just have a little uh, shed here, a bit later down the line. So I'm gonna use some blocks of glass, after that I'm gonna use one bucket of water. Water! Yep, I don't want to break a single torch, so I can just hope this is amazing, as you can see. This is amazing, exactly what I wanted. After this, firstly, I do need to go a bit up. Okay, this is looking fine, real fine. And here, I can just put one and two. Okay, do that. This is amazing, and then can go right down, breaking the one at the block, then <laughs> all the blocks are gonna be source blocks, and we are back up. Let's show some things here, and theoretically... Yes! <laughs> ah, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh yeah, that's working fine too. Okay, I don't need to make it a uh, big and janky. And then I just need to, you know, exchange uh, this, this, make one block higher, and then here I just place a hopper and then have directly here a chest. 43, okay, it's working great. It's exactly what I wanted. There is no breaking of my genius. Because I am special. And from this I need 19. So, it, so I'm gonna have 40. Okay, this is gonna be the collection system area. I'm gonna be following the tutorial to a T. This one area should be five, no, uh, six blocks high because uh, the bottom layer, this is gonna be uh, the water layer. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just dig it out what I need and the rest is gonna be filled up with stone and so on because uh, this is the area which is gonna push the creepers down. Well then, I'm gonna see you a bit later when it's gonna be done and finished. Oh, too close, too close. I'm gonna see you a bit later when the area is finished. Wow! As you can see, I dug down a bit and you can see what kind of progress I already made. This is the collection system and everything that's, you know, normally the creepers come here and are pushed pushed down, because they go always down the stairs, right directly down. And then, a bit later, I'm gonna use the soul sand campfires for the creepers to just die. As you can see, <laughs> I find always some of my blocks here from the digging, slowly filling up the chest. And currently, I want to dig uh, this whole area out till I have the free air space. After that, I'm just gonna be starting to build the platforms, and that's more or less it. But the worst thing about the f <laughs> about this farm is that I know I created it here because I wanted it to have uh, always loaded. But the thing with this is the problem, the little little problem. I need to light up the whole area, the whole area for it to work. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit interesting, <laughs> lighting up at the least the vicinity. Because, I mean, yeah, I had a lot of problems with creepers and so on, so I can just say it was already needed to light it all up. So we could just say it was inevitable. 
And I did get a suggestion from one of our viewers. I'm gonna put the name here in the screen, you can see. Uh, he wanted uh, to <laughs> he wanted me to try hardcore for 100 days. So yeah, why not? I can make it. But still, I'm not sure about what kind of goal I would want to uh, do. If it's just to survive and kill the dragon, I mean, I can try that. But the 100 day challenges, they make a lot of really cool builds there and I'm not a builder. So yeah, I just gonna need to look up a design before that, an easy one and gonna make a, not schedule, but something like a time plan. So I can just, you know, make it in time. <laughs> uh, well, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be really fun. Yeah, I need to mine one block further after I just dig this whole area up. I want to make the walls first, because that will make the whole building a lot easier. <laughs> finally clean. It's clean. It's really clean. Finally. Finally. Whee! <laughs> Ah, yes. This is amazing. The best collection system ever created. <laughs> ah, yes. Yep. I love it. You just have to love it. Welcome back. As you can see, this is the first layer. It really is quite easy. Just make a bridge like this. I did such a bridge. After that, one trapdoor here, then here, then here, last two here. After that, put down the buttons, put down the fences. The fences are for the snowman, just so you know. Did that just one, two, Three and four, two and three. We've got the snowman. I can go back, close the trap doors. After that, I'm going to make the roof. After I make the roof, I just go pick up the trapdoors and just place them all over the roof. And the last thing is gonna be the carpets, because if you place the carpets before the trapdoors, you're just gonna, you know, hit onto the... I can show you. You're just gonna, you know, get stuck a lot of the times. So that's gonna be a bit annoying. So if you don't want that, just do it like I did say to you okay this whole upper layer will be with copper late and then in the middle is gonna be uh, just the tinted glass you know and that's more or less it guys girls we are done we are more or less finished with the farm it's not totally completed but it's gonna be but i have to close it up because we don't want to lose our precious precious snowman right right so I'm gonna go fetch some blocks, which are floating around. And after that, we are gonna get out the shulker. Because that's where the goodies are. We need tinted glass, we need tinted glass. I don't really know how much, but two to three stacks should be enough. As you can see from here, down there are the campfires. The system right now is not totally prime, but you can see all the snowmans are in place. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five platforms. More or less for a single player world, this should be more than enough. Ooh, it's getting darker and darker. The trapdoors are there. <laughs> 
uh, just because the mobs are normally uh, have a set height. For example, Creeper is uh, the shortest, yes, uh, the shortest enemy mobs that can spawn expect the spider. And that's where the carpets come in hand because spiders need a 3x3 three three or 2x3 area for spawn. Okay, so currently the farm is activated and we should be seeing soon enough more of the <laughs> goodies coming. Okay, I need to make a collection system, which I'm gonna do right away. I need source blocks here so that the elevator is not broken. That's why I'm coming here to get water and not using a water stream. Because if I just placed one block on top with two of them being air blocks, the kelps or the blocks would just come here and then go up and down and stay at this level and be bobbing till eternity. Okay. Yep. I can make it like this because the items are gonna come here from here yep okay right now this farm should be working well then let's see we're gonna see here that should do it for now I'm gonna make it a bit more pretty in a bit but you're not gonna see it this ah you see it's gone yes first gunpowder first gunpowder we've got our first gunpowder the farm is working it's working it's working i'm so happy i'm so happy it's working it's working oh yeah i need to be 16 blocks away for the mobs to spawn Still, I'm happy, it's working. It's finally working. Okay, this I'm gonna sort a bit later. <laughs> oh yes, amazing, amazing. Yep, it's working. And now, the first thing on the agenda should be finishing this up, making it into a cool building. I mean, right now, it's small, but it looks interesting, because you can always come and see and just be interested. You see? Yep, there he is, there he fell, and bam. Yep, and now we can watch, we can watch. Bam, bam, boom. Oh yeah, sometimes uh, the top chest is gonna catch it. Nice, we've got a functional... <laughs> we've got finally a functional gunpowder farm. And as for TNT, we just need some sand and yep, that's it. But before that, we still need to spawn proof the whole area around it. Because I cannot go into spectator mode, because you can see, still it will produce something, which I'm already more than uh, happy enough for it. Hello, I'm currently lighting up the caves, as you can probably think and see. I started with the area, yeah, torch spam, I hate that. I don't really like it because it's making the area, the whole area, look not really so good. And with the torches, as you can see, the black particles, I don't like that either. But as I came here, down, yep, you guessed it, I found the spam. Spawner! <gasps> it's Skelly Spawner! <gasps> Ooh, I can make it a farm. It can be manual, but it can be my very own bone skeleton spawner. Yay! Nice. I love it. Okay, this was unexpected. I didn't think I would have here a spawner. Okay, this is really nice. I still need to mark it. Okay. This should be it for now. Just wanted to, yeah, show it to you guys and girls, of course. Guys, girls, as you can see, <laughs> I did something. You can probably see it in the distance, but yeah, I did something which I should have uh, done a lot sooner. Well, 
Yeah, I've pound proofed more or less <laughs> the surroundings of the base. It's still not fully spawn proofed. I still need to place some torches. It will be only provisional because I want to use uh, better blocks, then moss carpets and so on. Hide the light sources a bit better. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can see here they spawn and here they don't. Yep. I go bonkers. Ooh, yeah, they can spawn there. If you have any suggestions how to spawn proof the roofs, I would be all in for it because that's the only thing I don't know how. But as you can see, the mob cap is filling and deleting, so yeah. <laughs> oh, the horse. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yep. I've gone bonkers. I'm not even sure when I began, but after a bit I just placed one torch every eight blocks and after that I just gone randomly, as you can see. Here is on the same, here not, and so on and so forth. I still want to spawn proof this part so that this farm can function even better, but yeah, it's still not enough. I mean, it's producing gunpowder on a really quite fast speed. I had here already 40 something and uh, some of them get stuck here at the top one. So yep, it's working. And finally, I have no problems with, you know, rockets. I can finally fly as I want. So yep, the next thing on the agenda is gonna be placing finishing the torches till the end and after that yes i know this one <laughs> this project but it will be in the next episode as i said no not said but yeah i mean it wasn't really that big of a project this farm i mean it doesn't really even use redstone still i want to make it pretty but this will be done a bit later Something like here or here. I just want to, you know, sit on onto it. And those are slabs. So this is everything spawn proofed. And I've got an idea about a uh, design here. So this you can wait a bit. <laughs> and no, it's not gonna be a pixel art. At least I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's not gonna be a one. Okay, this should be it for the episode. Press like and subscribe, stay in good health, and I can only say bye.